Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Happy Sunday night, you guys. April the 21st. Hope you have had a wonderful day. Hope your weekend has been great. And I hope that you are ready for the week ahead. Um, okay, so we are going to do part two of the empties that I started last week. So I was able to bring you part one, which was all of the wax. And this part two is going to be candles, two things of room spray, and quite a bit of body care. I'm not really sure why this particular round of empties, I have a lot of body care, I usually don't. And I do have quite a few candles as well. Um, so y'all remember that this particular round of empties is the one that is about eight weeks worth of empties. These are the things I emptied out um, like prior to our move. So let's get into this. Um, let's start with the, um, you know what? I'm gonna put y'all on pause because I thought I could outsmart my dog and I came in here to my bedroom and I closed my door thinking he wouldn't know where I was. And I can hear him outside my door with his little paws scratching. I'm gonna see if he'll stop. If he'll stop, then we will continue. <laughs> Cause I was really hoping to do a video without him in here. Um, okay, he has stopped, so let's proceed. Um, we're gonna start with the candles. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven candles this time. Um, all right, so we'll just start right here. This one, now this one I bought last year and for whatever reason was not able to finish it last year. I really wanted to because I do love this candle. Um, and I, okay, so let me just stop right here and say there are some candles that y'all are gonna see in this video that either I completely forgot I had um, and then in the process of moving and packing, you know, I'm pulling these things out of drawers and cabinets and I'm like, oh my gosh, didn't even remember I had that candle. Um, so it was kind of exciting. And some of these, you know, like had not much left. So, you know, it didn't take me long to empty them out. There might've just been just a teeny little bit left. Um, now this one I bought at Bath & Body Works last year. This is Capri Waves. Um, from the White Barn collection. Y'all, this was so good. Oh man. And I'm sad because I have not seen this um, in stores this year. So I don't know, you know, I guess they didn't bring it back. Um, I would have definitely picked up another one of these. The scent notes are sea salt, rich driftwood, ocean air. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. This was amazing. Um, yeah. Oh, it is still so strong in here. Mm, it was amazing. Um, the throw on this thing, 9 out of a 10. Um, yeah, it... It was beachy, but it wasn't like you know, like um, Waikiki Beach Coconut or anything like that. It wasn't coconutty. It wasn't like, you know, suntan lotion, that kind of beachy. This was a very sophisticated beachy scent. It kind of like reminded me of what a lobby would smell like. Like if you went into like a, a beachfront resort or some kind of like really fancy hotel, you know, right there on the water and you walked into the lobby because there is a little bit like of that sea salt, that salty sea air, but it is so, uh, it's beautiful, it's aquatic, it's beachy, it's sophisticated. I loved this and I would get more if they brought it back. 
That was Capri Waves. If y'all um, ever had this, leave me a note in the comments and let me know what you thought of it because I loved it. All right. Um, <laughs> speaking of opening up my cabinets and um, being surprised at what I found, this one, I could not even tell you how long I have had this. Um, so yeah, packing, this was a pleasant surprise. This is a single wick from Bath & Body Works in PPW Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Oh yeah, still so incredibly strong. Now I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret about the single wicks from Bath & Body Works. I don't know why I have this. There must have been some crazy good sale going on when I bought this because normally I do not get the single wicks. They have never performed well for me. Um, now if I put them like in a super small space, maybe like a bathroom or, you know, like a really, really tiny space, I might get some good performance. Um, but typically I just don't get good luck with these. So I'm not even sure why I have this one to tell you the truth. <laughs> Couldn't even tell you how long I've had it. Um, now, if there is a single wick that is going to work for me, it's going to be PPW um, because this one was great. Um, yeah, it was great. Like, it just performed like a pumpkin pecan waffle candle should perform. The only issue I have with these single wicks is the, um, the performance, not the throw. Like, the throw was great, but y'all can see how much wax is left yeah um the wick on this thing was puny as it was crazy i hated the wick on this hated the performance i got but the throw and the performance as far as like scent was awesome okay uh well here we go um three wick from bath and body works also in ppw we all know what the set notes are maple syrup golden waffles pumpkin spice and brown sugar um y'all know that this is my scent i feel like all of us in like the fragrance world have a scent that we call our own um you know that scent that just brings you joy brings you happiness ppw is mine um, this is not like a fall thing for me. This is not something I pull out only in October, November. This is year round, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I stock up on the um, PPW room sprays when they come out in the fall. Like I will buy 20 at a time just so I have extras like, you know, in the summer, if I'm craving PPW, I have me some PPW. Um, this candle, again, amazing. Um, but look at this. This one went all the way down to the bottom. I mean, there is still a little bit of excess, and I'm not really sure what happened here. I think this might have like gotten knocked over um, in the process of packing and moving. That's the only thing I can think of of why that happened. I'm thinking my son might have like knocked this. On its side um, but yeah I mean nothing to say I love me my PPW okay now here is one again didn't even know I had <laughs> thanks to packing and cleaning out cabinets I came across this um, and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this was gifted to me back when I was teaching and I haven't taught since um, 2019. Yeah, 2019 was my last year to teach. Um, so I haven't taught for a few years. Um, so I've had this for a while. Um, yeah, I know this was given to me by a student or by a parent or something. This is Capri Blue Volcano. Um, I hear people talk about these candles. I know some people cannot stand them. Um, I honestly don't know how I feel about this. Um, it gave off great, like, 
scent. I did this um, in my new bedroom. So I found it when we packed, unpacked it, and then we moved in here. And so I finished the rest of this out in my new bedroom here. And I could smell it. Um, I just, I can't quite decide how I feel about the scent. Um, it's not something that I hate. Um, but I don't think it's something that I love. Like, I don't think this would ever be a repurchase for me. Um, I didn't even buy this one in the first place. It was a gift. But I know a lot of people don't like Capri Blue. Um, so let me know in the comments. Are you yay um, Capri Blue Volcano or absolutely not? Just let me know because I just, I don't know, can't quite decide how I feel. <laughs> All right, three more candles. Two of them are Bath & Body and one is Retail. So let's finish out with the Bath & Body. Um, here is one, oh, y'all, I love this. Um, so this is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl. I would say this one is a close second behind Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Uh, scent notes on this. Luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. Yeah, again, like this is something they bring out in the holiday season, but this would be a year-round thing for me. Yeah, I love caramel. Um, Y'all know I've said it many times here on my videos that for me, caramel, it needs to be ooey-gooey, sticky sweet. Like I feel like if your caramel is not giving off super ooey gooey sticky sweet vibes it's not a true caramel like i feel like caramel needs to be ooey gooey sticky and sweet um so for me like the more of that i get the better so caramel maple butterscotch all of those things and i know that's not for everybody but it is for me. And this one mixed in with the pumpkin. Oh, you guys, it's amazing. This candle, every time I burn this candle, I get the most amazing throw. This is a 10 out of 10. Now, it was a 10 out of 10 in my old house. And my old house had, you know, the vaulted ceilings. It was very, very much like an open space. And I got a 10 out of 10. So I'm pretty sure in my new house here it's going to be the same um yeah had no problems with this one this one was great so i'm gonna to have to wait until um the holiday season again when this one comes out to get more for this new house but that's a winner i love that one okay another one that i didn't even remember i had um this one found when i packed and you can kind of tell that this is an older one because that lid, um, I haven't seen a lid like this from Bath & Body in a long time. So I don't even know like if they put the years on these. I was going to see if maybe the year was on here, but I don't see. Um, but yeah, like you can kind of see the label is even an older label. So I think... I've had this for a while. This is Coconut Colada. Um, and the scent notes, creamy coconut, spiced banana, and dark rum. Yeah, this is an old candle because even like the label here is totally different from the labels now. Mm. <laughs> to have been such an old candle, this, you guys... It still smells so good. And this candle is, it's an old one. Oh man, yeah. And I don't think um, coconut colada, I know they have like the coconut pina colada, but just straight up coconut colada, I haven't seen in stores. This one I loved because it wasn't just your run of the mill pina colada because they had the spiced bananas in here. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, you might as well just have like poured this wax <clears throat> into a like tropical drink and stuck an umbrella in it because that is the vibe it gave off. Just a super creamy tropical drink that you would drink on the shores of Tahiti or something. Um, it was amazing. 
All right, and my last candle is a retail candle, Tuscany from Kroger. Uh, this was Eucalyptus Mint. And um, Tuscany, they really don't put like scent notes or scent descriptions. I mean, they put something very, very small on the front here. So this one just says Eucalyptus and Cool Mint Soy Blend, 14 ounces. Um, I've talked about the Tuscany here on my channel before. Um, Tuscany, I started out loving Tuscany. I mean, I loved the candles, I loved the wax, like I was just getting amazing luck all the time. And then I kind of like went in like a up and down with Tuscany. I, you know, I had a few candles that just were duds. I had a few wax melts I couldn't even smell. And then I would go back up and I'd be like, oh, I'm on a high with Tuscany. All this stuff is amazing. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I'm really, really up here and I love it. Other times I'm just like, ugh. But I continue to buy them because number one, they're cheap. Like this 14 ounce candle, um, yeah, Bath and Body candles are 14.5 ounces. These are 26 bucks, 14 ounces, $6.99. <laughs> so that is why I keep going back to them. Um, this one, I actually really, really liked. Uh, the wax got a little wonky towards the bottom. The wicks got a little puny, but oh yeah, the scent this gave off was so pretty. Um, yeah, I mean, very, very much along the lines of like the Bath & Body Stress Relief, that eucalyptus and mint shower stuff. It was amazing. I would get more of this. Um, the performance wick-wise and wax-wise wasn't great, but um, the scent this gave off was so relaxing. I loved it. All right, so that is all for candles. Let me do my two room sprays and then we'll finish out with body care. All right, so I emptied out these two room sprays. Now keep in mind, cause I'm gonna tell you what these scents are and you're gonna be like, uh, we are way past um, you know, the season for these. But keep in mind that when I you know, had these going was eight, nine weeks ago which was, you know, February, beginning of March. And so um, in Texas here where I live, it was still very, very cold. So that's why I kind of pulled these out. Um, first one is sweater weather. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> we are in mid to end of April. So it's weird to talk about sweater weather, but I did finish this out back, you know, February, March. Um, I love sweater weather. I love this scent, you guys. And I have watched many videos, so I know, um, I do kind of feel like I'm in the minority as far as my love for this, because I hear a lot of people say they don't like it. I love it. I absolutely love it and didn't always love it. Like it took me a while to kind of realize how pretty this is. And then once I started burning the candle, like it's something I have to have every year. Like I just love it so much. Now this one was new for me this uh, this past year. Strawberry snowflakes. Um, y'all, I just I don't know. I didn't care for this very much. I really didn't get strawberry, and I I guess I was hoping for more of like a actual strawberry, like a berry. This was very, <clears throat> excuse me, very just odd. There was something about this that was off-putting to me. And I don't know the scent notes. I'm sure if you got like on the Bath and Body website and typed in strawberry snowflakes, the scent notes would pop up. I don't know the scent notes. Um, yeah, it was just, it wasn't my favorite. So that one would not be a repurchase. Um, okay, so let's finish out with body care. All right, so uh, first thing I emptied out was a 32 ounce bag of, I don't even know what this was. Oh, okay. So this was kind of like um, 
bath salts. And I got it at Sprouts. So do y'all know what Sprouts is? I don't know if y'all have Sprouts where y'all live, but Sprouts is like a, it's kind of like a, like a Whole Foods. It's, it's those stores that have all the stuff that's supposed to be good for you. <laughs> um, so this says pure coarse grain, dead sea salt, rich in natural minerals. Pamper yourself with a skin loving blend of essential of essential minerals to help calm your mind and body. Um, I've had bath salts and like Epsom salts many times. Um, this one didn't have like a scent. I know sometimes you can get like bath salts that are scented. This did not have a scent. It was just like the actual like salt, like dead sea salt. Um, that's supposed to be really good for your skin. So, um, yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, there's something about just like pouring this um, into your bath and then just like kind of, you know, laying back and just go, oh, it's just very relaxing. And then it says on here, um, bath and spa. You can use it in your bath and spa. You can use it in your shower or you can use it as a foot soak. And now that sounds amazing. The foot soak, I've never done that before. Um, may have to try that. I usually, anytime I have these, I just pour them into my bath. Okay. Um, now these two things I also got at Sprouts. Um, this was Aromatherapy Foam Bath in Lavender. Um, Directions, dissolve contents into running bath water and step into your luxurious foam bath. Um, yeah, this was really, really good. Yeah, it was really, really good. Um, it wasn't bath salts. It was, it was kind of like the consistency of um, like sand almost, um, like purple colored sand. And then you poured it under your, you know, your running water, and then it just kind of like foamed up, and it just smelled like lavender. Very relaxing. That was a 2.5 ounce bag, and then this one, kind of along the same lines. Um, this was called Calming Chill Pill. I think I got this just for that name. Now this was Fizzy Bath. Um, I think this was also scented in lavender. Yeah. So. Kind of along the same lines as this one. This one foamed up and this one kind of gave off like fizzy. It was really, really fun. Really good. Um, now this one, this one was, was kind of interesting and <laughs> y'all aren't even going to believe it when I tell you where I got this. So this is called Bathtub Tea. And I got this at our local hardware store. Okay, so we have a hardware store um, here where we live. Um, it's called Ace Hardware. We don't go there a whole lot because they are a little bit pricey, but you know, sometimes if we need something like really specific for like a household job, um, you know, Home Depot doesn't have it, we'll go into the hardware store. Um, and our hardware store, you know, like my hubby will go into the man section to get his whatever, his tools or whatever. And then over here at the front of the store, they have just this kind of like, I don't even know what to call it, but it's it's more of like the, the, the mom section or the woman section. They have bath stuff. They've got, they do have wax melts in there. They've got room spray, um, just cute little stuff decorations for the house and so when my hubs is browsing and doing his thing I'll go over here and do my thing and that's where I found this um so it was so cute it was like a little tea bag um and it was scented in eucalyptus and peppermint and let's see I'll just read you what it says back here um, enjoy a steam infused aromatherapy soak. Bathtub tea is a combination of all natural herbs and flowers that fill the air around you with the sophisticated scent of this expertly crafted essential oil blend. Directions, drop the bathtub tea, oh there's curry you here, into a hot bath, breathe in the steam and clear your mind. So um, yeah, it was like a little tea bag and you just drop it under your running water 
and it was so fun. It's a little pricey. I think this thing was like seven or eight bucks. Um, but yeah, I don't think I would buy them all the time, but for one time it was fun. I'm gonna put y'all on pause because his little paws are gonna scratch up my door. So I'll be right back. All right, he's in. <laughs> okay, um, let's finish up and then we'll be done. All right, so this one, this was a sugar scrub from the pharmacist's daughter. Um, this is one that, oh, that smells so good, that I've had for a while. Another one that I was like, ah, didn't even know I had this. Um, because, yeah, I haven't ordered from the pharmacist's daughter in several months several months so to tell you the truth I really forgot I had this um, and I think I've only ordered um, pharmacist daughter body care a couple of times their sugar scrubs are so good I know they have like the smaller size which is I don't even know how many ounces I think I'm mm, four ounces on this one I think um, and I know they have a larger size. Anytime I buy body care from a vendor, I almost always opt for the smaller size. Oh, curry, stop. Um, this was in coconut crack. Okay, <laughs> you guys. I know that coconut crack is a scent from the pharmacist starter that so many people rave about, talk about. I know they bring it out in wax. I've never been able to score the coconut crack in wax, um, but I did manage to get it in body care. Holy cow. Holy cow. This thing is, is old, but it still smells like the best slice of coconut cream pie in here. <laughs> so imagine like taking your bath, taking your shower, lathering up in a scrub, and then you come out smelling like a coconut cream pie with extra fluffy meringue or whipped cream. I mean, that, mm. So next time I order from the pharmacist starter, I'm gonna really hope that I can score me some of that in wax because it's so good. All right, I finished out a fine, uh, no sir. <sighs> A fine fragrance mist in pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm telling y'all, like this is my scent year round. I don't care if it's the middle of July and it's 110 degrees outside. I want to smell like this. I want to smell like a maple waffle. <laughs> it's just so good. I will always have PPW in my body care stash. It's, it's just so good. Um, okay, this was a shower gel. Now this one I picked up at um, SAS. Mm, I don't think this was the last SAS, maybe a couple of SAS's ago, um, in Vanilla Mocha Martini. And this is one of their older bottles because I know the newer bottles have um, the scent notes on the back. This one doesn't have any scent notes. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Vanilla Mocha Martini. Um, and if I remember correctly, I paid like maybe two bucks for this. Um, it was okay. I mean, for two bucks, of course I'm going to get it. I, it wouldn't be a repurchase for me. I mean, if it was two bucks, I would get it, but I would not pay full price for this. It was all right. Um, but I wouldn't pay, you know, 14 50 or 15 bucks for it, but it was okay. And last but not least, I saved the best for last. Do y'all see? This is my, uh, speaking of my scent, it's funny because the PPW, I feel like is my scent in candles, wax, room spray, body care. I mean, that's just like my all around, all time favorite scent. Now this one, Into the Night, is my all-time favorite body care scent from Bath & Body Works. Um, okay, I feel like I say this every time I talk about Into the Night. <laughs> Fragrance notes, raspberry noir, amber crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli, mocha musk. I feel like I have to say this. Y'all, 
those set notes are not me. They're not. Creamy patchouli, like, you don't put patchouli and carry in the same sentence. Um, rose petals, no. Like, no. No. <laughs> but whatever scientist at Bath & Body Works came up with this, and, oh, curry, stop, and put all of those things together, I, I mean, they need, like, some kind of award or, like, a Nobel Prize or something because all of those things put together, just, this is so beautiful. It's sensual. It's feminine. It is sophisticated. It is, I mean, there's so many words to describe this. It's pretty. It's beautiful. It's sensual. It's sexy. It's, yeah. I mean, this is something that you could put on when you're ready to go out, like, dancing at a club. You could put this on a night out on the town. You could put this on um, when you're staying home in your jammies. I mean, this scent, y'all, it just, it's so good. I, I, I just really want you guys, next time you're in the store, just do me a favor. Just go find this in the store and just smell it. Just smell it. And you know what? It may not be for you. You may smell it and say, Carrie, I don't know what you're talking about. This is so gross. <laughs> but I really think you're going to like it. It's different. It's unique. I absolutely love it. This was um, Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub, normally $17.95. And I want to say I got this. Either I got this on sale. I know I did. It was either SAS or it was with the coupon or rewards or something, but I just remember how excited I was to score a body scrub um, on sale in my favorite scent nonetheless. So yeah, I just, I love it so much. <sighs> I love it. And I mean, Bath & Body is going to have to come out with some really, really amazing scents for this not to be my favorite anymore. Like right now, I just think this this is going to be like my permanent favorite scent. Unless something else comes along that just blows me away. But right now, this is it. Into the night. I love it. All right. And that is all. Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I am finally done with my eight weeks worth of empties. Um, thank you for being so patient. Thank you for sticking with me and letting me get these done. Um, so I will be back next Sunday. So a week from today, starting weekly empties. Yay. <laughs> um, you will see me before next Sunday. However, you're going to see me a lot, um, during this week to film some hauls and, um, some other fun things. For you guys but weekly empties will resume next Sunday um, just a week at a time um, so yeah um, back on the melting challenge excited for that I have several hauls some other fun surprises I am so close to 300 you guys last time I checked I was around 280 subscribers what thank y'all so much for for being a part of my channel and while I'm on that note I do just want to say thank you so much to my subscribers and reach out to those of you who may not be a subscriber all you have to do is hit the like and the subscribe leave me a comment. I would love to have you as part of my channel. When I do reach 300, you know what time it is. It's going to be giveaway time. So I'm super excited. Um, if you know someone who you think would like Carrie's collections, please, please invite them. Send them my way. I would love to have them join this, um, this part of my wax journey and be a part of my life. Love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Have a great rest of your Sunday evening, and I will see you soon for another video. Curry, say bye. <laughs> bye, guys.